Hey everyone, I'm Sana. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube tutorial series about UIKit elements on the Xcode Storyboard for iOS app development. In this series, I will be taking you through features of commonly used UIKit elements which are listed in the Apple documentation. Today, we will be using custom fonts in our project such as in UI labels or UI patterns. Let's go ahead and create a new Xcode project. Let's click iOS, simple app, next. I'll just name it Tutorial App. Let's select the place where you want to store it. I must app create. There we go. Let's go to main.storyboard and on the side, let's also open up the view controller. There we are. First, let's drag a label into our screen there we go. labels are already open up i'll set some constraints to this let's close this on the side so that we have some more space to work there we are first of all i'll center it in the middle of the screen then let's set the distance from the sides to zero that's the distance from the safe area and let's also fix the height I'll make it 100. Now to work with this in the code, select control and then drag into the view controller. I'll name it my label. Make sure that outlet is selected over here and connect. First of all, let's just set some text to this label and also set the text alignment to center. We do that within the view did load. Let's go to my, my label dot text equals hello world. And then my label dot text alignment to center. There are a couple options here like center, justified, left, right, natural. But for now, we're just working with center. Let's run that and have a look. Our label now says hello world and the text is centered. The next thing we need to do is bring a font into our Xcode project. For that, let's open the sidebar and create a folder called fonts. New group, fonts. Now let's open up font book and select the font that we need to drag into our project. I've already downloaded a couple of fonts from, in, from the internet. They can be downloaded in PDF or ODF format. So in the font book, let's click show in finder and drag that into our fonts folder make sure that you selected add to target tutorial app and finish there you go the next thing you need to do is go into info.plist and add this first of all select add row and then select fonts provided by application this will create an array of fonts that are available to you. Now in this item 0, you need to since, uh, enter the font name. So since I've brought geotica 4 opentdf I'll be putting geotica 4 open over here. There we go. Now we'll be able to use this font in our project. In the view controller, go to my label and then select the font. We'll be using this to UI font. So create UI font and then select name size option. Name is Geotica 4 and size is the font size. So I'll be setting that to 30 for now. Let's also put a font color. So my label, the text color. There are a couple of ways that you can do this, but I like to use the red, green, blue display option. So I'll go through display P3 and oh sorry, I forgot to put UI colors. UI color. Display P3 dot green blue alpha. There we go. So this changes from 0 to 1. So I'll be putting suppose 0.4 for red, 0 for green, and 
one for blue. They should give us something in the blue violet range. Let's run that. Alright, so there seems to be a bit of a problem because this font is not Theorica 4. Let's open up info.plist to see what the issue was. Alright, so over here you're supposed to put Theorica 4 open.tf, which is the file name and not just the name. Let's run that again. And there we go. Our font has changed, the color has changed, and you have your own custom font ready. Thank you for watching.